What's up everybody, another beautiful day on the Dragon Isles, and today we'll be taking a look at Marksmanship Hunter dungeon builds going into Dragonflight, showcasing a potential build that works really well for dungeons, with insane burst AOE that can melt down the biggest of pulls, and decent single target as well for boss fights. Now I say potential as you never know if they come in with rando nerfs or buff, and if they do I will update this. So this build revolves heavily around melting packs with explosive shots, ricocheting aim shots, across packs and huge multi-shot slaps due to the new bullet storm talent which drastically empowers our multi-shots. So I'll be going over my main build for dungeons with a few points you can swap around depending on what you need. So the current iteration of Marksmanship Hunter has almost unparalleled AoE burst potential, as during their cooldowns they're pretty damn insane. A little less so outside of them, but new talent tree has us mostly covered on that front as far as AoE goes at least. So for this build, starting off we get low wolf pet be gone precise shots for those 75 percent damage increase multi shots following an aimed shot careful aim for that above 70 percent health burst on targets this is why no one likes marksmanship hunters that pop all cooldowns at the start of a pack without using misdirect because you have that reverse execute going following this streamline and lethal shots for more rapid fire damage aim shot cast time reduction following them an arcane multi shot has a 30 percent chance to reduce rapid fire cooldown by 5 seconds, which helps a ton with focus generation. No one wants to cast steady shot. We'll of course get multi shot, trick shots and volley so we can AoE with aimed and rapid fire and for some extra burst damage from volley on AoE. As well as talent light ammo so aimed and rapid ricochets to 2 additional targets for a total of 7 additional targets, which ties in nicely with bullet storm. Anytime aimed or rapid ricochets you stack up bullet storm increasing multi shot damage by 7% up to 10 stacks. However new stacks does not extend the 15 second duration. But on most packs you'll cap this out after a rapid fire and an aim shot, enabling you to slap away extremely strong multi shots, which you further empower with precise shots for an additional 75% damage on your multi shots. Lot of shots! So anytime you aim you follow up with 1-2 multi shots for some satisfying burst. We'll also get salvo, so that multi shot or volley applies explosive shots on 2 targets on a 45 second cooldown. And this is just passive extra slappiness, which is very nice at the start of pulls, open up with all that burst, plus explosive shots. Then you get target practice for an additional 25% increase multi shot and arcing shot damage. For more slaps, we'll also get death blow and racer fragments, so that aimed and rapid has a chance to give you a charge of kill shot and allow you to use it regardless of your target's HP. And razor fragment, after you've consumed trick shot, your next kill shot deals 50% increased damage and deals 25% of its damage to 5 nearby targets over 6 seconds, as a bleed. Now kill shot slaps extremely hard as MM, and having access to a pseudo cleave kill shot during execute or whenever you get death blow procs is extremely good. If you're on a pack and one mob goes low, you can just fire off a racer fragment kill shot for some extra pad. Now on top of this, we get double tap for some extra burst, lock and load for those free instant aim shot procs for more burst, serpent stalkers trickery so that aim applies serpent sting to your primary targets, you can somewhat cleave with this or apply it to multiple targets by swapping targets on every aim shot on AoE, if it is a pack that will live long enough for it to be worth it. Then we have Bullseye, for even more execute potential on both single target and AoE. <coughs> Slapping low health targets gives you 1% increased crit up to 30% and it lasts for 6 seconds, and this stacks extremely fast on AoE, and you can play around it a bit by always swapping to low target mobs or spawns during fights. I mean who doesn't want 30% extra crit. Lastly, we spec into all true shot talents with either calling the shots or unearing vision. So true shot lasts longer, but more importantly reduces focus cost on our main abilities by 25%, meaning we'll be able to spend precise shot charges during true shot when bullet storms is at 10 stacks. Without having to press steady shot all the time during it, we can just aimed, spend precise shot, aimed, and as far as calling the shots or unearing vision goes, both are viable and fill their own niche if you will. Calling the shots allows you for more frequent but less powerful cooldown usage from true shot, and unearing vision just makes it a much more potent cooldown. So do you want or need cooldowns more often and will you be able to make use of the cooldown reduction? Go for calling the shots. Or if you want a bigger CD stronger burst, go for unearing vision. And if you find yourself holding true shot a lot in dungeons for certain packs or bosses, not making use of the extra cooldown reduction from calling the shots, then that talent becomes dead weight very fast, and you're far better off going with an 
your ambition for just stronger cooldown. Now as far as the class tree goes, I have a suggestion linked build in the description, but otherwise you want to pick up whatever utility you want slash need like AoE root, stun, single target in cap, purges, etc etc. But the main DPS talents in the class tree are Master Marksman as it does a metric ton of damage, Keen Eyesight for more crit, Serrated Shots for more Serpent Sting and Bleed damage which works on Master Marksman and Razor Fragment kill shot Bleed, Arctic Bola for some passive damage and Death Chakram for more damage and focus generation, as well as Explosive Shot for more boom booms. So how does all of this play? Well on AoE apart from cooldown usage which can vary greatly you want to multi shot between each and every aim then rapid fire to keep trick shot up for them. You want to spend all precise shot charges following an aim shot as your multi shot slaps now. Multi shot also has a chance to reduce rapid fire cooldown and rapid fire helps with stacking bullet storm and your focus generation so you don't need to steady shot as much. Make sure to never cap aim shot charges and use kill shot on cooldown or whenever death blow procs. So at the start of a pack it might look something like this. Throw volley into a rapid fire and an aim shot, throw death chakram, an explosive shot then spend precise shot charges on multi shot, into a new aimed, into multi, into whatever is available. Then you steady shot if both aimed and rapid is on cooldown, or when you're focus starved. We're not specking into steady focus so there's no need to always fire two steady shots in a row, you can just weave in a single steady here and there as needed. And then you just rinse repeat, multi shot aimed, rapid fire when you can. Now during true shot it's pretty much the same at a faster pace and you don't want to press anything else than aimed, multi and rapid fire, multi shot for trick shot and to spend precise charges otherwise aimed shots and occasionally rapid fire to gain focus or if you're out of aimed charges for a second or two you can start channeling rapid. And since we kinda instantly stack up 10 stacks on bullet storm all the precise shot charges we spend on multi shot will slap extremely hard during true shot and we'll be able to fire off a lot of them as well as aimed shot jumping around between 7 targets. But yeah overall you'll be able to dish out crazy amounts of bursty AOE during cooldown even with little to no gear. I mean you probably need a bow, but with a bow you'll be able to keep up good sustained AoE in between cooldowns as well as smash away during cooldowns. So yeah, we're not dead weight outside of true shot, we still perform very well, it's just that we get absolutely insane during true shot. And our single target rotation doesn't really change apart from that you of course don't need to multi shot before aimed and rapid fire, and you use arcane shot instead to spend precise shots, but otherwise aimed away. We also have great dungeon utility from the aforementioned class tree, unless you want to try your tank, in which case do not spec into misdirect and make surprise Pikachu face anytime you pull aggro and die. I'm sorry I didn't spec into it. And yeah that's pretty much it for this MM dungeon build guide for max level dragonflight. Now I have build guides for a lot of other specs and classes as well so make sure to check M out if you're curious about other classes. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this build guide, any MM <laughs> slappers in chat? Don't forget the usual stuff, like, comment, subscribe and ring that notification bell it really helps me me out. I stream progression and testing on Twitch, Stanky Gaming. Make sure to check out my Patreon if you want to help support me and my work. As a patron you get access to the Stanky Gaming Discord, shoutouts and videos and tons of other stuff so make sure to check it out. I am again asking for your patronage. Thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you next time.